Since the late 1600s, the Orthodox Church in Ukraine had been a wing of the Russian Orthodox Church. Many Ukrainians chafed at the arrangement, resenting its implication that their country was a vassal state of Russia. Two schismatic churches formed under their own Ukrainian leaders, but they were not recognized by the Constantinople Patriarchate as canonical. That is about to change. The Ukrainian Orthodox Church is leaving Moscow's control. It will be under the international Orthodox religious jurisdiction of the Ecumenical Patriarchate of Constantinople, not the Moscow Patriarch. From the point of view of big geopolitics, relations with Russia, it means that Ukraine is breaking away from the so-called Russian world. Ukraine will be substantially less dependent on Russia in a spiritual and religious sense. There are approximately 12,000 churches in Ukraine that are under the Moscow Patriarchate. Ukrainian President Petro Poroshenko has pledged that there will be no action against parishes that choose to remain under the Moscow Church, and the head of the Ukrainian Orthodox Church agrees. Moscow wants confrontation. We Ukrainians don't want confrontation. We don't want to give reason to outsiders to intervene in our affairs. Meanwhile, the war between Ukrainian forces and Russia-backed separatists in eastern Ukraine, which began in 2014, sharply increased dismay and hostility towards the Moscow Patriarchic churches, including among some priests. To be in the Moscow Patriarchate is to participate in killing Ukrainians, because responsibility lies not only on the person who pulls the trigger, but also on the person who is giving the gun and who blesses it. The tensions in Ukraine as it nears establishing a full-fledged Orthodox Church of its own are proving to be a potentially volatile brew that mixes politics, religious faith, and national identity.